My name is Muta Bill. Most people know me as Napoleon, a former member of the Tupac Outlaws. In my short life, man, I experienced a lot of things out there. Flown on private jets, albums that sold over 40 million copies worldwide, shootouts, street fights, club fights, whatever you name it, been there, done that. Man, I experienced the ups and downs of this fast life. So I want to share with you my story. This Napoleon, life of an outlaw. I was three years old when my mother and father got murdered. After the murder of my parents, me and my brothers, we was in the house with, my, with the dead bodies for 24 hours. And I remember as a kid that I was biting my mother, trying to wake her up. I grew up in the house of my grandparents after the death of my mother's father. So whatever I would see out on the block, drug dealing or whatever, I would go in my room and I would write a song out of it. You know, it was a way for me to relieve whatever was inside of me. I was able to put it on paper. All, all I can remember all his life, he loved rapping. And I remember the first time I met Pop Man. He asked me to rhyme for him. I rhyme for him. We hit it off. And the rest is history. When he got close with Pop, he looked at Pop like a big brother or a father figure. You know, someone to look up to. Puta was. Um, and the Pac was bonding real tough. I think Muta had become one of Tupac's extended family members. Yo, Fro was a very fast life, man. Parties every night, private jets. We was living like kings. There was a, there was a certain amount of arrogance they all had during that time because they were on cloud nine. But I never expected to end that type of life. I never expected that that life would come to an end so drastically and so soon. There'll be some stuff you're gonna see that's gonna make it hard to smile in the future. Yasmin called Gaddafi mother said Tupac just got shot. I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? And you know, but the first thing that I said in my head, well he got shot five times before, he's gonna he's gonna take this, come out, do records, sell millions of records again. But when I actually saw him in a hospital bed, to me, it, he, I knew for right there that it didn't look like he was going to make it. You know, and Pac loved him, and he, them two was bonding, so I, I know it, it affected him real, real hard. Once again, Tupac Shakur dead at the age of 25. 25, 25. It was a time when I was in the music industry, and I had three houses at one time. Money was coming in, but I didn't have much inner happiness, you know what I mean? I didn't have the happiness inside of me. So I knew that it had to be something else out there that could bring happiness besides money, jewelry, cars, and fame. Because once you get to a certain level, you start searching. And what I did is I turned to experiment different drugs, and I turned to drinking alcohol real heavy. He was always liquored up. He was always liquored up and smoking weed. So I seen him wild out with the girls, wild out drinking alcohol, getting drunk, fighting. And I happened to one day be in a recording studio, and I was very intoxicated. And I got into a fight with my little brother, and it got to the point where I almost probably killed my little brother. Hurt him so much that he had to go to the hospital and get staples in his head. And it happened to be a Muslim brother who was in the parking lot, and he broke the fight up. He calmed me down. He came and spoke to me. I said, imagine tomorrow waking up sober and realizing that you killed your brother. How would you feel about that? He was asking me to come to the Majid, and for a while I was ignoring him. And when I first went up there, I remember I went up there deep, about 20 or 30 boys with me. And I, I went there expecting that it's just going to be like how I roll everywhere else with a posse of crew, and we just going to hang out. But when I went there, that's when I seen something different that basically inclined me towards to want to know more about what these people was upon. That's what changed my life ever since then.
he, he got an awakening. Islam has given Muta the purpose. Overall, man, my brother, he's, he's a different person now, man. I think Napoleon is, is, has changed in a way where it's, it's, it's beneficial to the children, beneficial to himself, to his family, and to his friends. But when I looked at him, he definitely inspired me to want to, you know, give back to the youth and give back to the community in a way, you know, saying that, that, that Islam only offers you. He had a lot of potential, but he also had a lot of anger and unresolved issues that I think Islam probably gave him solace and peace. Muta is a good brother and I, um, personally I'm striving to be more like him. Napoleon, may Allah reward you, bro. You're a good dude. You're ahead of your time. You're a leader and a sign for all of us. And you know, I'm a rival to the world's for all. First, you're a little homie, you're a little big H rider. Islam Lincoln. Things will never be the same. Them that was gonna be the same. Yeah. That's just the way it is. The way it is. Oh.